How does Wi-Fi affect the brain? Unlocking the secrets for a healthier future. We live in a world powered by Wi-Fi. It connects us, informs us, and entertains us. Have you ever stopped to wonder, how does this constant wave of invisible energy affect the most complex organ in our body, the brain? Today, we're embarking on a journey into the unexplored territory of Wi-Fi's impact on the brain. We'll separate fact from fiction, explore the latest research, and empower you to make informed choices about your own health and well-being. Welcome, fellow explorers of the human mind. We're tackling a topic that sparks intense debate, Wi-Fi and its potential effects on our cognitive powerhouse. Now, before diving in, let's be clear, Wi-Fi operates on a non-ionizing radiation spectrum, much weaker than X-rays or UV rays. But that doesn't mean it's completely harmless. Research suggests it might interact with brain cells in subtle yet significant ways. Brain Basics, a Crash Course To understand the potential impact, let's take a quick tour of our brain's VIP areas. The prefrontal cortex, responsible for decision-making and focus, gets a constant workout in our digital age. The hippocampus, our memory hub, is crucial for learning and retaining information. And the amygdala, our emotional center, plays a role in stress and anxiety. So, how might Wi-Fi's electromagnetic waves influence these critical areas? Research is ongoing, but some findings are intriguing. The evidence we have so far. Research suggests potential connections between Wi-Fi exposure and various brain functions. Some indicate changes in brain wave patterns, while others hint at impacts on sleep, memory, and even anxiety levels. However, the evidence remains inconclusive, and more research is needed to paint a clearer picture. It's important to remember that correlation doesn't equal causation. Just because someone uses Wi-Fi and experiences sleep issues, it doesn't guarantee Wi-Fi is the culprit. Lifestyle factors, stress, and individual differences all play a role. Beyond the research your brain, your choice. While definitive answers may lie in the future, waiting passively isn't an option. We have the power to make informed choices about our Wi-Fi exposure and take proactive steps to protect our brain health. Here's your personalized action plan. Mindful Wi-Fi, limit unnecessary exposure. Disconnect at night, turn off Wi-Fi in unused rooms, and consider wired connections where possible. Digital detox, schedule screen-free breaks throughout the day. Immerse yourself in nature, read a book, or practice mindfulness exercises. Nourish your brain, prioritize sleep, eat a brain-boosting diet, and engage in physical activity. Exercise releases endorphins, improves cognitive function, and reduces stress. Listen to your body, pay attention to how you feel after using Wi-Fi. If you experience headaches, fatigue, or sleep issues, adjust your habits accordingly. Seek expert guidance. Talk to your doctor or a healthcare professional specializing in brain health for personalized advice. Remember, you have the power to create a healthier future for your brain. By taking charge of your Wi-Fi exposure and practicing healthy habits, you're investing in a sharper, more resilient mind. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of the brain Wi-Fi connection. Remember, knowledge is power. By understanding the potential risks and taking action, you're setting your brain up for success.
Now, go out there and create a world that empowers your mind, body, and spirit. Thank you for watching Creating a Better Future.